All right, hello guys, this is Mr. Gurdias, and this is the video for simplifying algebraic expressions by combining like terms. So if we take a look, here's our objective for the lesson today. Uh, we're going to simplify algebraic expression by combining like terms. So um, first what we want to know is we want to know what an algebraic expression is, and we also want to know what the parts of each algebraic expression are. So an algebraic expression is a numerical expression but it has a variable in it, okay? And if you notice, there is no equal sign. So I have this math problem here, but there's no equal sign. And there's a variable in it right here, which means that I'm not going to get an actual final one number answer, okay? So each algebraic expression has parts to it. This number right here, the number 3, is attached to this variable. That is called a coefficient. That's a vocabulary word that you need to know. Okay? Coefficient. Now, this so every every number that is attached to a variable is called a co coefficient. Now, the variable itself is the letter. Okay? So this letter X, that's a variable. And really, this variable, what it represents is it represents an unknown number. Okay, so that means this letter X can be any number in the world. We don't know what it is. So it represents a number that we're not sure what, what the value is. And then finally, the last part of the expression is a number that doesn't have a variable attached to it. So this number 4 is just a lonely 4 out here with nothing extra on it. That's called the constant. It's just a number without a variable. Okay, so three vocabulary terms, three, three things that we have to know when we're identifying parts of an expression. We have the coefficient, which is a number that's attached to the variable. We have the variable, which is, represents an unknown number, and then we have the constant, which is a number without a variable. It's just a number that's sitting by itself. Now, now that we have, we know what all the parts are of an algebraic expression, now what we want to do is we want to understand what like terms are. So in an algebraic expression, I have my coefficients. Okay, so this three, whoops, that was weird. This three, this five, those are my coefficients. Okay, I have my variables, which are the x's, and then I have my constants, which is this 4 and this negative 9. Okay, those are just the parts of it. Now, when we, have, when we, when we want to simplify algebraic expressions, we want to do what's combining like terms. Okay, so like terms have, that's our last vocabulary term, like terms have the same variable raised to the same power. So what that means is, is a like term, if there's a number that has a variable and it's the same variable like such as x right here, then that means any number that has an x attached to it, any coefficient that has an x attached to it, is a like term. So 3x and 5x are like terms. All constants are also like terms. So this positive 4 here is a like term with this negative 9. And what we're going to do when we want to simplify these is we want to combine our like terms to make this look like, a, like an easier problem in the end. And we'll get to that in just a second. So first I have two different algebraic expressions right here. And what we want to do is we want, I just want you to, we want to identify what each part of these algebraic expressions are. So, and I'm going to list all the values right here just so we can kind of label each each piece and we know what we're, what we're doing here. So first we want to find what are the coefficients for number one? What are the coefficients of this algebraic expression? Well, as we looked earlier, coefficients are the numbers being multiplied by a variable. They're the number in front. So here's my variable. The coefficient is the number attached to it. So here I'm looking for vari numbers with variables. So this is 4x. There's a variable here. There's a variable here. And there's a variable here. So my coefficients are this 4 right here, this 7, and this 3. 4, 7, 3. Constants are the numbers that don't have a variable. I just have one constant here, and that is negative 5. We bring the sign with the value. That sign goes with the number. So instead of a minus 5, this is actually a negative 5. My variables, do I have variables here? Well, we have coefficients. We have to have variables. This x, this y, and this x are all variables. So I have two variables, x and y. 
the number of terms I have. So the term is just the whole piece together. So 4x is a single term. 7y is a single term. Negative 5 is a term. 3x is a term. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms total. Okay, I'll do that in a different color here. So there's four terms. And we want to know what are my like terms. I want to group together my like terms. So what terms are alike? So I know I have 4x right here is alike with this positive 3x right here. So 4x and 3x are like terms. Okay, I'll switch colors again. Do I have any other like terms? I have a positive 7y. I have a negative 5. These are not like terms. And 7y is not alike with 4x because you cannot, y is not the same thing as an x. So these two different variables represent two different numbers. It's kind of like thinking, can I combine x and y to make an x? And the answer is no. You can't combine two letters to make the same letter. They're different letters. So these two variables represent different numbers. So y is not a like term with x. And then my constant is not a like term with the number with the variable. So my only like terms that are in common are the 4x and the 3x. 7y, negative 5, those are not like terms. Okay, here's my constant. This number has a different variable, so I'm done. My like terms are 4x, 3x, and these are all the different pieces of this expression. Let's look at another one. Coefficients, again, we're going to go through this one a little bit quicker. So my coefficients are the numbers attached to the variable. So here are my coefficients. I have a 2. I have the 6. And this is negative 4 because I keep bring my sign with the number. Constants. So with my constants over here, constants are 12, negative 14. Variables. Variables, I have a t, a z, and another z. So my variables are t and z. Number of terms. So how many groups do we have here? I have, well, I have one, two, three, four, five terms. And like terms, so I want to see, do I have any values that also have the variable t attached to it? Is there any like terms with this 2t? So this has a z, that's not a like term. This has a z, it's not a like term. So no, t does not have any like terms to combine with. The z right here, though, this does have a like term with this negative 4z. So 6z and negative 4z are like terms. I also have like terms. Uh, let's color switch to black here. With my constants, I have two constants, and constants are always like terms. So 12 and negative 14 are also like terms. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this expression right here, and we're going to simplify it to make it look a little bit less complicated so that we can solve it in the end, later on down the road. So... I have an algebraic expression, 2x plus 6 plus 4x minus 4. The first thing I want to do is I want to identify what my like terms are. The way I'm going to identify my like terms is I'm going to circle the constants and I'm going to box the coefficients. So first, I'm going to box all my numbers that are coefficients with a variable. So I have my 2x as a like term. Positive 4x, that's a like term. I'm boxing my 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 values that have coefficients and variables. And then I'm also going to circle my constants, positive 6, negative 4. What I'm going to do is now I am going to add or subtract, and I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have this 2x and this positive 4x. I'm going to add these together. I'm going to combine these. I'm going to combine a positive 2 and a positive 4. The x just goes with it. Okay, we don't do anything with our variable, it just stays attached. So 2 plus 4 is 6, and then I keep that variable attached to it. I'm also going to combine this positive 6 and this negative 4. If I combine positive 6 and negative 4, I have 6 minus 4, which is just positive 2. So now I'm going to bring both of these pieces back together so it looks like what this looked like. And I now have 6x plus 2. This would be a simplified algebraic expression. I have no more like terms that I can combine. 
I can't solve for anything, so I don't have an equal sign. And so I'm done. This is simplified. This looks a lot less complicated than this does, and I'm all done. Let's look at another example. So again, I want to simplify this. I want to box the values with the variables and coefficients. So I have 14x, negative 10x. Those are like terms because they both have an x attached to it. I'm also going to box, circle my constants. Positive 12, positive 2. Now I'm going to combine those like terms. So I'm going to combine my boxes here. I have positive 14x and I have negative 10x. What I'm doing when I combine these is I'm just really doing 14 minus 10. The x just goes with it. It just kind of follows along. 14 minus 10 is 4. I still have my x. Okay. Then I combine my constants. I have positive 12. I have positive 2. If I were to combine 12 and positive 12 and positive 2, if I add those together, I get 14. Now I'm bringing both of these together. I have a positive 4x and a positive 14. So it becomes 4x plus 14. One more example just in case you need it. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to identify all of our like terms. So first I'm going to find out what are my like terms with the 3z. So I know I have a 3z here. Negative 5a, even though it has a coefficient and a variable, the variable is different. So this is not the same thing as this one. Okay, these are not like terms because the variables are different. So I'll go to the next one. Oh, I've got a positive z. Put a box around that. Negative 4a is not like with a like with z. Okay, so let me see if I can identify any other like terms. Negative 5a and negative 4a are like terms. Negative 5a, whoops. Negative 4a are like terms. So, whoa, what's going on here? I'm going to spaz attack. All right. So, now what I want to do is I want to combine my like terms. So first, I have the 3z, and I have the positive z. Whenever a variable doesn't have a coefficient attached to it, it doesn't have that number in front of it, we, always, we can always say this is 3z's, this is just 1z. Okay, there's a 1z in front of it, so why is it spazzing out again? Okay, so what I can do is I can combine, what is going on? Weird. Okay, so I can combine 3 and positive 1. So when I combine 3 and 1, I get 4z. Okay, now when I combine my other like terms, I have a negative 5a. I also have a negative 4a. So I'm combining negative 5 with negative 4. And then the a just stays attached. It just follows along. So when I combine negative 5 and negative 4, I have 5 negatives. I have 4 negatives. That gives me 9 negatives. And I keep the a attached. And now, because I cannot combine these, I bring these together. I have a positive 4z. I have a negative 9a. And I'm all done. Okay? So positive 4z minus 9a is my final answer, and that is a simplified expression. So I hope this video helped. Good luck, and uh, thanks for watching.